On this episode, I'm going to show you how to fully install all the parts inside of your toilet tank, including your flush valve, your fill valve, and your tank bolts. So stay tuned for this episode. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell. Today, I'm going to be changing out every single part inside of my toilet tank because as you can see here, a lot of parts have been deteriorating slowly or just worn out, including these tank bolts are just full of sediments and been rusted. You can see that the fill valve is acting up sometimes and just makes noises. First thing you need to do is just shut off the water source. You don't have to watch this whole video because I broke it down into four different parts. I'll leave the timestamp down below. First part of this video is removal and cleanup. I'm using this syringe to suck up all that water inside the tank and put it down into my toilet bowl. But you can either use a turkey baster, a sponge, or a dirty rag or anything that you might have to take out all that water. Now looking on top of this tank bolt, you can see that there's a nice pile of rust on top. This is due to sediments and bacteria over time. This flapper still looks like it's in a good condition along with the seat that it sits in still kind of clean around there but I want to change it out to a brand new one but the problem is I have in this fail tank it's making a lot of noise. The kit that I'm using here is the complete kit by Corky. This has everything the fill valve, the flush valve and also all the tank bolts including the flapper that's attached with all the seals. Now take a bucket or a basin and you place it underneath the water supply hose because once we crack this open I'm using my channel lock pliers just for assistance. Once you crack it open there should be a little bit of water left if you haven't fully um, drained out your toilet tank. Now take off that little nut that is supporting that fill tank and right after you do that you can easily just take out that fill tank valve off right there. And you can see that this is still functional but it's kind of noisy what I'm doing that's the reason why I'm changing it out. Now using my ratchet, I'm going to be taking out those two tank bolts at the top and I'm going to take that and tackle that right underneath and there should be a nut right there with a washer that you can easily just take out. Push that tank bolt out and this the tank bolt should pop out from the top and you can see that this is pretty okay. You can see that the rubber seal right there is still in a very good condition but again the kit that came with came with brand new one so why not change it out. Now it's time to check, change out all the seals, all this extra stuff you can keep if you'd like. Um, and now I'm going to be taking on this huge nut from my um, flush valve. I'm using my channel lock pliers because I don't have any other tool that can do this, but this seems to pretty much work really well. And to take out that huge nut that's connected to the uh, toilet tank to the flush valve. Now you can see that the flush valve is taken out and it is pretty dirty and it still works you can reuse it but we're going to change it out anyways clean out all the sediments i'm just wiping every single thing because there's a bunch of sediments that settle down there over time this is the perfect time for you to actually clean out everything around your toilet part two of this video is the flush valve install flapper and seal you can see that the left side is my old flush valve and the right side is the brand new one which is actually a two inch flush valve i need a three inch flush valve which is on the left so depending on your tank type so I got the Fluid Master uh, 3 inch flush valve. It comes with also, which is very helpful, this, uh, this kit, which is the wrench already that helps you uh, tighten that bolt right underneath. And you can see that it's very identical in size. The right side looks a lot newer with the newer, fancier uh, flapper uh, adjust adjustable features. And then you have this seal for the toilet tank and toilet bowl. Now it comes also with the tank bolts. You can see in the, this brand new one, the, the newer versions now, they have these options where how much water you can actually flush out. You can change it from one being the least and 10 being the most water to um, flush out of your toilet tank to your toilet bowl. You can easily just adjust things by twisting it. Let's take out the nut that's connected to the flush valve. You can see that there's a gasket seal on top. Leave that there. Install it on the diagonal side because if, don't let it touch the wall because it will have some issues. Flip your tank over and then insert this bolt. Now you're going to use this wrench that's provided to screw this on. This makes it a lot easier rather than using those channel lock pliers that I was using earlier. But this makes the job a lot easier. So make sure you save this tool. 
Now we're going to use this gasket seal right here, place it on the top and flip your toilet tank over to have that nice seal. Make sure it's a nice and aligned. Make sure that those two bolts that you see that's connected for the toilet tank are nicely aligned to the toilet bowl. You can adjust the flush valve tubing up and down and I'll show you how to adjust that later. Part three of this video is the tank bolt install. Now this is a very easy install but yet very critical because if you do this wrong you might end up having a leak in your toilet. So make sure that you insert that tank bolt on through that rubber um, washer and then just insert it through those two openings right there go underneath place that washer and uh, nut I'll leave the size of this ratchet on the description down below don't over tighten this because you might end up cracking your porcelain just make sure that the tank and the tank uh, bowl is uh, touching right there just slightly so just gauge it and don't over tighten now we're approaching part four, which is the fill valve install. This is a little bit more complicated, so bear with me on this install. Place your fill valve on the top and place it right through the tank. And now we're gonna be using a, fl a flat tool, or in this case, I'm using my shim, just so that my flush valve um, tubing is right just below the fill valve, okay? Now um, you can take this in and out just so you can have that nice height. And then right after that, we're gonna uh, secure it with this uh, plastic nut that they provide and now you're going to be provided with this uh, hose and attach that clip right on one end and then place it and clip it that on top of the flush valve tubing now gauge how how the distance is make sure there's there's no kink on the hose and once you get your nice length use your cutters to cut that and attach it to the fell valve easy as that right when you've I've attached that really well. Make sure it's nice and secured so it doesn't pop off. Now there's a little lever on the top. Make sure that you place it on the on position so you can have water start flowing over to the flush valve um, tubing. Now there's the chain. Adjust the height that's right for your flusher. And right there, make sure that you have the right adjustment so that when you uh, press down onto your flusher, you can um, really raise that flapper up. Now reattach the water supply line. Be very, very careful because this might move the fill tank or the fill valve at the top. After that, you turn on your water supply and it should start filling up water from your fill valve onto your flush valve uh, tubing right there. And you can see that it is, uh, there's some stuff, there's some leakage on the uh, fill valve, which is perfectly normal, uh, but you should have water going up. To, so once it reaches that fill valve level, it should stop just like there. All right, so now once you do that, test out the flusher, see if it's working nice and properly and make sure that that flapper stays down. And again, it is feeding water again back to that flush valve tubing. Make sure you assess every single part of the toilet. There's, there's no leaks. If there is, make sure you reverse engineer it and go back to where that water leak source is because you might have cracked a little porcelain there or you might not tighten any part real well. So again, I hope you find this video helpful, friends. If you did, please hit that big thumbs up, subscribe, and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. I'll see you next time.